guys, Corey here. Funny story, I was actually going to get it inspected last weekend. I went to put in gear and it just would not go into gear. So we got a nice day. What I got today is some Exedi and ISR performance parts. Uh, thank you and Juku for the hookup. I'll leave the link in the description down below for all the parts that you're about to see me put on. We have the master clutch right here. This all came in as, as a kit. All three of these actually came together. The master clutch, the slave cylinder, and then this is actually an auto to manual conversion. I did some research and they did say that this would work. Yeah. Slave cylinder out. Spent through a lot, it looks like. We got the new one assembled. So you only want those to be hand tight because it's aluminum. It looks like it's rust welded to the line pretty damn good. <laughs> so uh, let's go get paper towels real quick. I got the clutch line removed from the master clutch. Now, the new line is going to be run down from the new one, once I take this out, over the trans tunnel, and then down. This old line is going to go. I'm also going to delete the dampener. We don't need that, and I heard a lot of air gets stuck in the line. So I'm hoping that's why my clutch last year wasn't as good, and I'm hoping like this whole thing I'm doing right now is going to fix, fix my clutch and be able to put it into gear. So. Let's go for it. Finally got the two bolts out of <laughs> the master clutch. What a pain. I actually ended up having to take off the top to be able to get. It's a half inch or a 12 millimeter, whatever you got handy on you. So now that I got the pins taken out on the inside, this should just slide right out. Here is the master clutch so we're going to actually one thing you want to do whenever you get this you want to lay it out with the other one and actually what we're going to do is we're gonna to have to take off this but we want to make this the same length as the old one that way have much clutch play let's go ahead and we will make this about equivalent length let's go ahead and put this into the car We got the master clutch in. We're gonna. This is gonna go here, and we want to route it towards the back of the car. And then now that we got that in, we're gonna go ahead, take our pin and our clip. I got the fork adjusted correctly. Now. The clutch is all the way, comes all the way out as you can see right, right there. Everything on the inside is pretty much done for the most part. Now we just got to run the line from right here. Unfortunately, I ran out of time tonight to finish it. So weather permitting tomorrow, it looks like we are going to have to run the line from the master to the slave and then maybe we can get under and remove the dampener what's up party people it's day two ba bam i went ahead and i ran the line the other night whenever it got dark so i really couldn't film it film anything here's the new line right here everything's ran now all that's really is left to do is replace the transmission because it is now a week later and i bled the clutch and replaced everything and my car still won't go into gear so I've come to the conclusion that it is probably my throw out bearing, my pressure plate, or my flywheel, or the transmission general. I ended up picking a transmission off of my teammate. It's a good work and condition transmission, so I'm super stoked about that. And we will be throwing that in this Friday, so stay tuned for a video. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, a comment, and subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you, and we will see you next time.